Hello, this is Chris Kuhn with 3D Performance Tech. Today we're going to talk about the displacement of an engine, what it is and how to calculate it. So let's go ahead and calculate the displacement for this inline six cylinder engine. To make things simple, we'll open it up and remove half of the block. I'm also not showing all of the internal parts, like the crankshaft, pistons, connecting rods and so on, just to make things more clear. In order to calculate the displacement, we need to take a couple of measurements. First is going to be the diameter of one cylinder, otherwise known as the bore. In this case, let's say it's 9.84 centimeters across. The next measurement we need is the stroke. This is related to the height of the cylinder, but it's measured from the very top, when the piston is at top dead center and even with the block, all the way down to when the piston is at bottom dead center or the bottom of its travel. In this case, we'll say that the stroke is 8.67 centimeters. So now we have all the measurements that we need to do this calculation. So the formula for calculating the volume of any cylinder, whether we're talking about engines or geometry class, is volume equals pi times the radius squared times height. So we already know what our diameter is, that's just the bore size of our cylinder. In this case it was 9.84 centimeters. So we'll take exactly half of that, or 4.92 centimeters, that's your radius. For the height, we're just going to use our stroke size of 8.67 centimeters, and for pi we'll just go with 3.14. Obviously, if you wanted a more precise number, you would just use more decimal places for pi, but this will work for us. So when you do that math, you find out that one of our cylinders is 658.99 cubic centimeters. Of course, we're dealing with an engine here that has six cylinders, so we'll just multiply that value by six, and then we get 3.953 liters, and of course it's customary to round up to the nearest tenth of a liter, 3.9 liters, 3.8 liters, 5.2 liters, and so on. So in this case, we're looking at a four liter engine. And in case anyone's curious, those are in fact the dimensions and displacement of Jeep's 4-liter inline 6-cylinder engine, which was made for many years and is still really popular with enthusiasts. So just a quick note, the terms liter and cubic centimeters are obviously metric measurements of volume, and although most newer American cars use liters as well, uh, older American cars did use cubic inches, and from time to time you still see it. For example, the Mustang GT has a 5 liter engine, or a 5.0, um, but when they came out with a special edition it was called the Boss 302. Obviously that was a throwback to the old Boss 302, but in fact a 5 liter engine is 302 cubic inches. Likewise, the new Camaro Z28 from 2015 says 427 on the engine cover, referring to 427 cubic inches, or 7 liters, which is the displacement of the LS7 V8. You can do this for other engines as well, of course. The Viper's 8.4 liter engine is 512 and a half, or rounded up to 513 cubic inches. And one of the Nissan GTR's engines, 3.8 liter, could be converted to 232 cubic inches if anybody wanted to, although I don't think I've ever heard of anybody doing that. And of course there are technically other units you could use to measure volume as well, but I don't think I've ever seen anything else on the side of an engine or the side of a car. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and don't forget to check back for more videos.